fundamentally it's about rage more specifically for me anyway it's about the suppression of rage and what happens to a person when they're not allowed to deal with the emotions that they're feeling the movement itself is raw and it's very very grounded it comes from somewhere within it's not just movement it's there's so much inside that you have to relate to. It's a very robust work, it's very, uh, oh, how can I say, it's, it's quite uh, vicious in a way and it, you know, it, it doesn't hold any punches, it doesn't hold back on its punches, so it's very much out there but I just had a few concerns as to, you know, the delicacy of where we are as an organisation right now and whether that work was really fitting. But we've managed to kind of, you know, talk around how we can remould and reshape it, and it's great. It's, it's the physicality, really and truly, that um, first impresses me about dance and the rest of it. So I will, I will think about the, the physicality and then I will think about the theme, and hopefully the both will mould. And basically, the theme basically is, um, is it's just the, the rage that people have within inside them, sometimes that they hide, sometimes when um, they particularly don't particularly want to hide it, but it's, and that's just to do down to, you know, you meet somebody, you have to be um, really polite and civilised and the rest of it. But sometimes in the part of your brain, you just want to be, you want to scream or you want to slap the person or whatever, whatever, but you have to be civilised. So that's basically where the, all of the, the ideas came from for Beast. Well, Doug is a young choreographer. He's, um, I mean, he's so passionate about what he does. And I think something that Doug is, is kind of, he has challenged me in a sense because I feel, whereas everyone else so far has kind of gone yes sir, no sir, he's kind of gone but why and, and how, what's the impact on me and actually, so those conversations were really quite hard to start with and you know in the first job it's like all you want to do is say it's okay, we're fine, we'll, we'll just take it but actually the work has a, an undertone which I felt wasn't quite Phoenix so yeah he gave me my first challenge I think. It's one of those pieces that you can't go on stage and just sail through. You have to get angry, you have to kind of, during those three minutes of the Oasis track at the beginning, you have to kind of psych yourself up and we're all there in the wings. Some people are punching the floor, some people are kind of doing press ups and or just silently getting into it. It's very physically demanding and uh, extremely mentally demanding as well, which is something I've never done before. I've been so used to just doing the line and the technicalities of things so it's nice to have that challenge. A beast has got a rawness in it that I find really interesting to perform and to bring it on stage and I like how confrontational you can be with the audience. Because everybody feels the same, same kind of like pains in, in, inside you. I mean, I, I don't want to separate the fact that, and, and definitely didn't want to go into the fact that it's, it's a male and a female, and it's the male that's been dominant to the, to the female. I just exactly didn't want that. So I was specifically wanting to make sure that the females have just as much kind of like rage as well as the, as well as the males. Working with him in the studio was um, incredible. He's a very spiritual person and you can really tell that the way he works is very kind of listening to himself all the time and very inspiring.